Today, we celebrate the memorial of St. Jerome, one of the great Latin fathers of the church. St. Jerome wrote many commentaries on the scripture. He was also responsible for translating the Greek and Hebrew scriptures into Latin. The translation is known as the Vulgate Bible. This work was an extraordinary accomplishment, making the Holy Scriptures available to a wider audience in the known world of his time. St. Jerome is a bold, inspiring example for us. His epistolic zeal compelled us to bring the Word of God to our times and circumstances. We must translate the gospel of life by our own living testimony, helping others to understand the God-given dignity of each human life from the moment of conception. It is our solemn Christian vocation to be good stewards of God's creation by respectfully accompanying women who are pregnant serving as their companions in reverencing and nurturing the gift of life in their wombs. We are the prophets who must teach by example about the holy human mission to share with God in his abiding creative work. By saying yes to this mission, we are affirming the beauty of our own humanity. We are saying yes to sharing in the image and likeness of our Creator God. Our yes to our own human dignity as co-creators with God defines our no to Proposition 1 on the electoral ballot this coming November. Proposition 1 demeans women and distorts all human nature. The language of Proposition 1 ignores the fundamental social interpersonal nature between the woman, the child, and all of society. The taking of an innocent human life should never be the solution to a problem. Freedom should not be defined by violence against the innocent. The vague language of Proposition 1 masks an extreme attempt to sever our share in the work of creation in our covenant with the Creator. Consider carefully, then, the moral and social costs of allowing the language of Proposition 1 to be embedded in the state constitution. Please vote no on Proposition 1. Today, ask for the intercession of St. Jerome so that we can bring the message of Jesus, the language of the new creation, to our brothers and sisters in the state of California. By our works of mercy and announcing the gospel message of life, we can become the living translation of hope and joy for others especially women and children. We will present an image of a new California by translating freedom with God's grace, allowing liberty and justice for all.